Welcome to the OASIS User Tutorial video. This video will guide you through the steps on how to order a new permit using OASIS. If the parameters of the load are within limits set by Massachusetts, the permit can be self-issued by the customer. Permit applications exceeding these limits or applications that need assistance from a Mass DOT user will be submitted to OASIS for approval and or review. The progress or status of this permit application can be tracked on the company dashboard in the permits panel. To apply for a new permit, click the drop down box under the new permit header on your dashboard. If you know what kind of permit you need, select I know which permit I need to start the application process. If you need help choosing the permit, select the I need help choosing the permit link and it will bring you to a list of questions to help you decide which permit you need. Please note that if you are a permit service and the permit is being ordered for another company, enter the company name or US DOT number for the company you are ordering the permit. We're going to select I know which permit I need and start permit to begin ordering. Your company data should auto populate in the appropriate fields. Choose a primary delivery method from the dropdown to select how you want the permit delivered. Email will send the issued permit to your email. Web download will allow you to get the permit directly off of your dashboard and fax will send the permit to your fax machine. Optionally, you can choose an additional delivery method from the same options. If the delivery method information does not populate, enter the necessary information. If the information does populate from your saved customer information, but you want to change it for this permit, enter the updated information. You may enter a company reference for this permit. This is an optional field on the permit application that enables you to associate a permit to a particular job, job number, or some other internal tracking. This option is not required and has been provided as a service to OASIS companies. If information is entered in the company reference field, you will be able to search on that information and generate a report for all permits associated to that reference. Select the type of permit you need by choosing it from the permit type drop-down list. For this example, we're going to order a non-reducible single trip. Enter the start date for the permit by clicking in the From box and choosing a date from the pop-up calendar. Please note that the start date cannot be earlier than today and is limited by the permit type as to how many days in advance it can be ordered. The end date will be automatically populated for you based on the particular permit type that you requested. This permit will be good for five days. Click Next to proceed with the application process and bring up the vehicle information screen. Enter information about your vehicle and load in the truck and information screen. If you have already saved a vehicle in the company information screen, you can choose that vehicle from the drop-down list. It will pre-populate the known information about the vehicle into the form. The Add Power Unit button will create another permit for another vehicle on this application. All vehicle and load dimensions and the permit date must be the same for each vehicle to use this option. The Delete Vehicle button will delete the additional vehicle if the Add Power Unit button was used and you no longer need an additional vehicle added. Some permits will require the unit number, the year of the vehicle, the make of the vehicle, the VIN, the registration number, the state of the registration, the weight the vehicle is registered for with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the vehicle type, and the registration number for the trailer. Please note that all fields may not be required on all permit types. The load description must be entered. This is a description of the load being hauled. By checking the I attest that the load is non-reducible, you are confirming that the load being hauled cannot be broken down further or disassembled as per Massachusetts rules. If the load is divisible, then the legally stacked option must be confirmed. Or, check the second checkbox stating you attest that hauling multiple items does not create an additional overdimension, meaning the load is legally stacked per Massachusetts permitting rules. Enter the greatest width of the vehicle and load, the total length of the vehicle and load combined, and the greatest height of the vehicle and load. All of these should be entered in feet and inches. Please note the inches value should be rounded up. Enter the gross weight of the vehicle and load. Certain permits will require axle weights and spacing, and in that case, the gross weight will be automatically calculated in the gross weight field when required. The Add New Load link will add a second vehicle and load parameter box that can be filled out separately to order two or more permits of the same type at the same time with different dimensions. This would be used for a rig move. In a rig move, the system will use the largest aggregate dimensions 
of all the loads and route all associated permits on the same route. Please note for optimal routing, enter the exact load dimensions. Once all information is entered and verified, click the Next button to continue the application to the routing process. The Enter a Route screen will appear. From this screen, you can generate a simple point-to-point -point route, a route through specified map points, a route over specified highways, or choose your origin and destination to be any combination of specific address, intersection, border crossing, latitude or longitude, or location on the map. You can also generate multiple routes with each separate origin and destination when you generate a split trip. There is a separate video that describes all of the possible routing options in greater detail. For this example, we are going to enter a simple border-to-border -border route traveling north on I-91 from Connecticut to Vermont. Select border crossing from the drop-down menu for origin, then choose the highway on which you are coming in from the state of which you are coming. For this one, we're going to select I-91 at the Connecticut border. For the destination, we are also going to choose border crossing and select the I-91 Vermont border. Then click the validate and run button to generate a route. There are other routing options if the system does not produce the route you wish to travel. You can see the tutorial videos for via points and origins and destinations on the login screen. Once the route has generated, carefully review Review the map to make sure it looks the way you want to travel. Also review the turn-by-turn -turn directions below the map to verify the route you wish to travel. If there is an issue and you cannot get it to generate the route you wish, you can check the box above the map that states I have a problem with the route and would like it reviewed. After checking the box, enter the route you would like to travel or any notes you would like a permitting agent to see. This will submit the permit application to the permit office and they will review it and either approve or deny your request. Please note that you will have to go all the way through the permit in order to submit it to an agency user. Click Next at the top right of the map to continue the permit application ordering process. The system will bring you to the summary page. From here you can review all information entered including the cost of the permit. Please review all information and make any changes necessary by using the System Back button at the bottom of the page before continuing. Once all information is verified, click the Submit button to continue to the Permit Submission Successful screen. The permit is now on your shopping cart. You can either pay for the permit now, order another permit, or return to your dashboard. To pay for the permit, click the Pay for Permits Now link. Click the Pay for Verified Permits link to be routed to the payment portal and enter the required information. If you need to pay for the permit at a later time, log into your dashboard and find the permit in your shopping cart. There is also a separate tutorial video on the login page on how to navigate your dashboard and shopping cart. You can also order a new permit by clicking on the Select link in the Action column next to an already existing permit in your queue and choosing Copy from the menu. This will begin a new permit application with most of the information already filled in from the previous permit you ordered. You cannot change the permit type on a copied permit, but most other information can be edited. This is to assist in reducing the amount of new data you have to enter. This concludes the OASIS user tutorial video on how to order a new permit. Thanks for watching, and don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.